excited for? Gorilla. What are, animal are you most excited for, Galaxy? Unicorns. Unicorns. Excellent. Bus parked up. Kids ready. Let's go. Does that make you boys happy? Yeah, this guy is really cool. Isn't he? Yeah, he is. Mommy, come here. Look at how cute he is and so soft. Look, there's a baby llama. I don't know if it's pitable. Hi, baby llama. Can you touch it? Oh, look at how soft it is. Yeah. Okay. Look, there's deer. Can you pet the deer? Try. Yep, try it. Good job. How sweet. How sweet you are. I'm sorry. You must not like all of this attention, but I love your dog. Yeah. Hey, baby. Where are my children? A rooster chicken. <laughs> you cannot go in there, it's locked. Open the gate. Of course it's little because tortoises don't escape. 
tortoise contact area. Be gentle. How's he feel, Galaxy? Good? What does he feel like, a trail? Spiky. Spiky. Feels smooth and a little rough. Look at the butt with those horns on the back of it. And this big poop. Do you want to go back to those? Let's do it. Let's go back to the goat. This guy just keeps going in circles. He is a Grison, Grison, Greater Grison. I feel like a lot of these animals in the zoo seem very crazy. I, it's not really pretty. Zoo craziness. The statue is moving. Does he look like a statue galaxy? Yeah. He's beautiful, huh? What do you see, Adriel? It's a wabigon shark. Galaxy. One minute, Galaxy. I'm sorry, I'm watching Brother and trying not to miss that. Woo! Okay, can you show me again now? Maybe. Was that what you were gonna show me? Show me good. Wow, monkey. Would we come to the zoo if we keep a monkey in our bus? I think they really like you, Atreo. They like me. They like me, Atreo. Mm-hmm. Mama, I've been a TikTok out of the water. We want some TikTok. Well, that's where I'm going to hunt. Her name is Makara. She is six and a half months old. She's still primarily nurses from her house. Uh, she is experimenting a little bit eating fish and ice cream. Um, she's just kind of hanging out watching some training tape. She's going to go bother taking her down. Uh, it's really important to know that here at Shipwreck Cove, we train our sea lions with what we call a positive reinforcement lifestyle. So that simply means we are constantly telling our sea lions good job. They never hear the words no or bad job from us. We simply allow them to choose whether or not they want to participate in training. If they ever feel like they don't want to do something we're asking, we let them know that that's totally fine. We simply just move on and find something else we can tell them good job for. It's really important, especially when training young animals like Junior here, uh, to use that positive reinforcement because it allows us to build a really strong mutual trust with our sea lions, uh, a really good relationship with our animals, so we can teach them uh, all kinds of different behaviors. So you're going to see some different energy behaviors today. But we also teach our sea lions to participate in uh, voluntary medical behaviors. So we can ask our sea lions to open up their mouths. So we can get a good look at their teeth and their gums. And you're going to show off right there that nice little open mouth. We can ask our sea lions to lie flat on their belly. So we can get a, get a good look over their whole body. We can even tell our adult sea lions to participate in things like voluntary x-rays, ultrasounds, and even voluntary blood draws. We're working up to that with our little ones right here. Uh, but as you can see, it's really important to build that relationship as a foundation. Now while they're young, so as they get older, we can play all sorts of different things. So please sit back and enjoy a little bit of that relationship right now with our trainers and our sea lions. It's so cute. Good job. Clapping and cheering is a great way to tell them they're doing a good job. We let them know. So you guys can clap and cheer for them all you want. Woohoo! Clap, 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 clap as much as you want. Every time you're entertained. Or they're so cute. Oh, 
Sorry, I'm just he's gonna get a little bit bigger. Uh, but sea lions, which are a little bit different than true seals, I mean, I'm related, but people want to get them confused. Sea lions, like what we have here, have those really large front flippers that can use to propel themselves through the water. You guys might have noticed that Kaka was moving around on land, though. He can rotate his front flippers up under his body and kind of walk on all fours. That is a characteristic unique to sea lions and walruses, actually. Uh, but true seals can't do that. Instead, they itch along on the ground like they're doing the dance of the worm. You'll also see uh, sea lions have external earbuds, just like we do. But has anybody ever jumped in a swimming pool and you get water in your ear and they spend the rest of the day going like this? Well, for an animal that spends so much of its time in the water, of course they don't have to do that all the time. So you'll notice that those earbuds on the sides of their head are a little bit smaller and tucked much closer to the side of their head. That just makes it a lot harder for water to get up there since they spend so much of their time swimming around. Another really cool characteristic that our sea lions have here are those really lovely whiskers on their face. Maybe let's see a little closer as Junior comes right here. Sea lions have about 36 to 38 on each side of their face, and each one individually is about a size Look at him! Oh! Makara's gonna try to steal a spotlight up there, which is real cute. Uh, <laughs> and they can use those whiskers to sense. The zoo was wonderful. The fact that it cost us $92 to get in and we ended up spending a good $100 was worth it. I did lose my other earring, so my old earring is back in my ear while we were at the zoo. And I have to say, if you're going to that zoo and you're spending that much money, you really want to spend as much time as possible there so that you can see the sea lion show and see the wonderful people and their work. Um, I was not really happy with how crazy everything was there, all of the animals. But, um, so probably not another a, a zoo that we will go see again. I do prefer wildlife refugees and smaller zoos where most of the animals are better taken care of. Like those sea lions were very well maintained, but weasels and big animals really could have used a bigger enclosure. But in the end, the kids had a great time and we are working with the society and what it is right now. So for that, I'm really grateful that they got to see all of those animals in, in real life. Even though it wasn't their real life, the kids got to experience how they move and they've got a notion now of what it means when they do go crazy and zoo craziness. And so for that, I gotta be grateful. It is what it is. It's not always pretty, but the kids got a lot of exercise and slept very good that night and Galaxy even slept before that, before nighttime. Rhea! So we're we're happy for the experience and happy for all of the fun things we got to do and um yeah. Yeah. Happy Yeah, so I hope you had a fun time walking through the zoo with us and I hope you take the chance to visit your local wildlife refugee and learn more about the animals that they house and how they can take better care of it and how maybe you can contribute to zoos doing a better job and maybe finding better ways of taking care of their crazy animals and I don't know, I don't know, maybe someday zoos will be a thing of the past and then I'll be happy that we got the chance to look at them and experience and document. So have a grateful day. Thank you.